Good afternoon. Uh, th this is JJ from 22 Explosive Hits. Um, coming at you with another contest entry. This is for Dave, the pickup artist. I'm excited about this one. I found some pretty decent stuff in my collection. Um, did find a KTL that has it as well, which is kind of a focus on my channel, but uh, I did find some other ones as well. First one I want to show you is the Eagles, which is When Hell Freezes Over. This is in 1995 when they reunited and they did like a, um, what I call like an unplug session along with some new studio tracks. So they had like, um, Love Will Keep Us Alive. Um, I believe this album also has on there, uh, the Hotel California Live. I can't tell you why it's live, um, in front of the audience as well. So this is a really good, uh, record. I think it fits the bill for what you're looking for. And the next one I have is off the, this is a Canadian version uh this one has a canadian and american version with totally different tracks uh that they, they produced i mean ktel produced a record they would do a ktel version right away and american with canadian versions were required to have canadian artists on them this particular one is two tracks and both are by cheap trick who are actually from nearby here in rockford illinois they're a big band i've heard actually People have gone to the guitarist's house and knocked on his door. Uh, actually, a famous filmmaker, Michael Moore, did that once, one of his uh, movies. But uh, I have the, the track on here, Ain't That a Shame by Cheap Trick, and it's live. Other tracks on Wings of Sound as well is the Escape, the Pina Colada song by Rupert Holmes. This Is It by uh, Kenny Loggins. Please Don't Go by Casey and the Sunshine Band. And let's see another one on here, maybe. Oh, this one actually has Bob Dylan on it. That, that's pretty cool. Bob Dylan, Billy Joel, a few artists were kind of rare on KTEL, but you do find a smattering of them. Uh, so this one actually has got to serve somebody by Bob Dylan on it. Really good uh, record. Just I got this one. It's in awesome shape. And as part of my Canadian side, I also have the American version as well. The next one I want to show you is a comedy record. You can see that. that uh, let's see if it's got some glare. Let me see if they pull out a jacket. Uh, so glare. But this, it's uh, Howie Mandel, fits like a glove. He has the, the glove on his head, and he actually recorded this while he was still doing St. Elsewhere. And it, it people were really surprised because the persona that he gave on St. Elsewhere as a doctor was totally different than the persona he gives in his live performances. He's crazy, does a lot of improv. He just basically asks somebody what they do for a living, and then makes a joke on it. So he might say... Um, my favorite one is, uh, this guy in the audience says, what do you do? And he says, I work at a hardware store. And he goes, you know, if I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. You know what? I would hammer in the evening. But you hammer this whole fucking land. Awesome, uh, joke. But this does have a studio track on here that had actually a music video. You can actually go look it up on YouTube. It's called, I Do the Watutsi. I don't get it. It's just a crazy video with just, you know, what do you do when a hamster named Fred asks you to town or something like that. It's a crazy song, just kind of wild, but it does have a, uh, a hit on here. He also has his, on the back here, he's, ha he's got his, his, he calls it his handbag because it's uh, shaped like a hand. And this is actually back when Howie had, ha had hair. Now he, he's bald and does America's Got Talent as a judge. Classic album. Um, actually, I looked in my collection. I had this both in album and CD. Um, and... One time I even had it on cassette back in the 80s when it first came out. The next one I'm going to show you is a mainly a studio one. It's Billy Joel the Stranger. Um, this is a I had this still sealed. I have so many Billy Joels. Billy Joel's like my one of my go-to artists. I know him inside and out. All his songs. I can almost sing you any song by him. I know the lyrics. Um, this particular one though, he released. I don't have the exact year, but he did release these re-releases. Where he would have a CD1 and CD2. So on CD1 he had the actual uh, The Stranger album. And then he would have a, a bonus CD and a CD2. So the bonus, the CD2 has Live at Carnegie Hall. So Live at Carnegie Hall has, has um, Miami 2017, uh, Just the Way You Are Live. Which is kind of a rare live one. He mainly only did that in Japan. He didn't do it in the States very often. I think only on that tour. Um, Captain Jack, Souvenir, which is what he used to end as, you know, every year is a souvenir and slowly fades away. Uh, the last one is uh, Live at the Coliseum and then Nassau Coliseum in 1977. And again, he has Just the Way You Are in this bonus CD. 
as well as um, Summer Highland Falls and get it right the first time. So it's a really good, I still have it sealed. Uh, maybe I'll give it away sometime as a contest. I'd kind of uh, have, I noticed like some of the Billy Joel's have like three copies or something like that. So, And last but not least, I picked Kiss Alive 2. Uh, the band, uh, it's one of the first albums I ever got as a record myself. I got this when I was six years old. Um, yes, six years old. Somebody, um, at the time, Kiss was just a novelty band. They weren't really considered, you know, mainstream rock and roll at the time. They were more of a novelty band that was on a kind of a novelty record label. And so my older cousin, who was 17 at the time, kind of said he's out of his Kiss phase and gave me all of his records when we went to Cleveland. And this actually got loaded in the car. What I still can't believe this day, and I've shown this before in my other video, is my mom let me have this record at six with that picture of Gene on there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I have my kids uh, want that, or I think they'd be freaked out. They're still freaked out by it, and they're um, uh, young adults now. So, uh, But the last uh, side on this record is it's live all the way through to Shout It Out Loud. Then after the last side, it has All American Man, Rockin' the USA, Larger Than Life, Rocket Ride in any way you want it, all um, studio. So it switches over at, at one point so they could actually promote some more records. It is a double album and it's actually a really good one. So, yes, those are my entries as to uh, for your contest. Um, I hope you have a great day and I hope you have as much fun with your channel as I am with mine. Have a good day.